Uh, insulin is the most important hormone in the body that instructs your cells to store energy. So it tells, it's, it's secreted when your blood sugar gets high, like after you eat, it sends a signal to these cells in the pancreas, the beta cells, and beta cells in, in, in response to high sugar secrete insulin. Insulin then travels into the bloodstream and tells your fat cells, your muscle cells, and liver cells to take up that energy and store it in those cells, especially in muscle and fat, and tells your liver to stop making its own sugar. So, so, so it tries to re reduce the amount of sugar. It. It's a closed loop system, it's, it's really nice. And then when the sugar comes down, the secretion of insulin is reduced. So it goes up after you eat, then it comes back down. So it's, it's an important regulatory mechanism, and in diabetes, it's, that whole thing gets screwed up. Right, so in type one diabetes, you're not making insulin, so your blood sugar goes up, and you need to exogenously, you need to inject insulin. In type two diabetes, what seems to be happening, at least initially, is that your cells don't respond to insulin as well, probably because they've accumulated all this energy because you're overeating or not expending enough energy. So insulin is, is no longer working. You develop a, a, a syndrome that we call re resistance to insulin. And that is really the beginning of a a pathway towards diabetes, the, the type two kinds of diabetes. So this is like when I'm talking to my kids and they stop listening to me. I mean, you know, the cells yeah, are no longer the listening cells to are the, no longer the listening. signal from insulin. And exactly how that happens is not clear. That's something a lot of us are trying to understand. We're trying to understand how it works in the first place and then how it stops working.